Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Big Blue Blob in Europa Universalis 4. So we're at 4 to 4 relations. We got an alliance with Scotland, which is fine. Um, I'm okay with that alliance for now. Aragon, I think we break. Because we know something bad's going to happen there. We don't want to get involved in them. Let's do two things at the same time. Let's uh, We're going we're gonna to go for the alliance with Poland. We'll secure the alliance with Poland first. It's Poland, Lithuania, Moldavia, Mazovia now. We'll dissolve the alliance with Aragon. So we've got Nord Jilland. And you have a navy out here somehow. Let's go kill it. Our state is not very prestigious, so they say. Don't worry, Sweden. We'll leave Denmark in a position where they're going to die. Caught a navy. Royal marriage from Poland. I think Poland's a pretty... Like, we're going to keep Poland around for a while. So sure. We'll accept that. Munster's well on its way, up to the right amount. So our relationship status then, it's time to break the alliance with Aragon. It's going to upset then, of course it will. But hey, you know what? We needed to use you against the right guy, against England. And they are coming out here to fight us. But we'll be gone by the 4th. And they won't be there till much later. Let's go dock up, get some repairs here, um, if we can. Making money. I want to get my navy strong enough that I can move it in there. These these heavies take so long to build without a dock. Okay, he's coming to reinforce with some ships that don't really matter too much. Our strength is really good, and we've got heavies, so... We just keep on fighting him for a bit. So it looks like one of our ships is going to sink, or as close to the end of the month as we can get. We want to get a recovery tick in the port. I think I'm going to retreat. Yeah. Killed three transports. It's fine. Now we'll go get a repair. Before the end of the month. It only takes like two days to dock up, so... This army's not doing much of anything right now. Um, except for looking pretty. It's got all of our cavalry in it, too. Victory over the English. Damn straight. I know there's a detached damaged button. Was it A? Yeah. Don't use that one too often. It'd be so much faster if we could get that damn thing blockaded. But it looks like we're in like two months about to pick up a fifth heavy. Which is just a huge, huge amount of firepower. Killing that army would be nice. Twenty war score. Sweden's happy. We have one individual war score against Denmark. So I'm sorry, Sweden, but you know, I'm, I'm only going to ask, uh, not select this province because France cannot make it a core. So we might have to do something like that. Actually, we can ask for Agder, but we can't ask for this. Oh, that's right, because the port's on the inside. Ugh. Well, if we have to take Agder, I'll take Agder. There's a fort up there that could be sieged. We'll see. Hopefully nothing bad happens and Sweden doesn't just peace out. And if they do, we've got a backup plan with our vassalization and declarations off of Munster. Although the thing is, Munster doesn't actually have any claims yet. They don't have any other claims. This might not work.
It'll be fine. We'll find a way. Get that heavy to come join his friends. These other ones are going to take a lot longer. 42% chance and it didn't happen. Uh, the Navy, 17... Uh, I think we can move in there. Let's go try to blockade both of them. Make some progress here. Worst case scenario, we just dock up again. So, whatever. Yeah, we don't want to take Holston, but we could take this one, this one, this one. We found a much smaller navy, comprised mostly of galleys. He's probably going to reinforce that fight, but his galleys aren't going to be able to do anything. Nope, he's retreated. Okay, so we're looking fine there. Um, this other heavy will come and join if it can sneak its way in there. 56% chance we take mid Jilland. Then we can move into the capital. Actually, we can move into the capital right now. But I want to finish that siege. Nice. While we have naval superiority, we'll cross. And our individual war score against them right now is at 12. I could peace out right now for Agder. Where does that leave Sweden? Could Sweden win the war where they're at right now? Sweden's got 5,000 infantry. With 33 war score, I'm worried that Sweden's going to be able to peace out and get their independence. And really, again, this war is, this war is all about me. <laughs> it's not about Sweden, I'm sorry. Sweden, I'm very sorry. Uh, what if we took more up here? Men's exceed war score. Not enough aggressive expansion for any real problems, and we get a province up in Scandinavia. That is exactly what we need. Okay, well, if I don't do this, then... It's kind of weird that I can even ask for Agder, but okay. Would we rather have Bergenschuss? Bergenschuss has a coastal center of trade, and it's 8 development. So it's 2 more development, but... Let's see. With Bergenschuss, we could fabricate on everything in this sea tile. So we could have 2 claims. We could have... Um, we could fabricate on Agder. We could fabricate on Nordjylland. And that's it. If we took Agder, we could fabricate on Bergenschuss. We could fabricate on Akershus, Busalon, Nordjylland. If only I had a tiny bit more individual war score. Oh, should I just... Let's let's occupy their capital. Like, let's park an army on it and see if that affects their thinking at all. No. No, I'm just going to peace out for... For, Ber uh, for Agder. For Berger Juice. Agder has... <laughs> We don't collect up here anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Let's go for the one that gives us more claims in this area, because we're going to attack these guys again. Okay, good luck, Spain. Or, uh, Sweden. We raise autonomy because it doesn't really matter. Probably. We immediately start fabricating claims on Norway. And we'll park this whole army up there because that is their purpose. This is invasion of Scandinavia. Okay, uh, eligible rivals are Burgundy, Austria, Aragon. Don't care about any of those. England's having issues. Good luck, Sweden. I'm going to fabricate claims on Bohuslan, because if Sweden wins, we're going to break their alliance with them and then attack them. 
So there's no cold, no uh, no time on it. A little bit of time being uh, at peace would be nice. Get our war exhaustion down without having to spend it down. Let's check out trade since we haven't yet. We are steering here. And we collect here. And you are collecting from trade here. One ducat a month. Which is causing us to have reduced... We don't get our transfer trade bonus. This, this, None of this makes sense. At least collect with the guy who's in Bordeaux. And then in Genoa, I mean, yeah, maybe the ducat's worth it, but... We'd probably be better off using the inland node and using all of our trade power to like force trade from here into Bordeaux versus that one ducat. Let's wait and see. 3.58. That made us a little bit more money. And if we get rid of this guy, and instead steer from here to get the uh, caravan power. It's not going to update till the end of the month. Nope, there it is. We have 52 trade power now because of our caravan power. Sure, Sweden, you can have access. That extra ducat from Genoa, or half point, three quarters of a ducat, might be hard to make up for. Yeah, we're still better off doing that for now. Unless... Unless, the thing is, right now we're getting, uh, since we're steering trade now, we're getting our bonus plus 10. If we transferred from another province, we lose the 10% bonus here, which is actually only earning us like 0.24 ducats. Having more trade power might be the way to go. Let's try doing another one of these. Just to see. 3.68 was the mark. Not that this really makes a big difference, but... We owe 187 ducats. Denmark has they've rivaled us. Excellent. I'd be glad to rival you. You are allied with Verden, who we have a truce with. The lights can go and protect trade in Bordeaux, I suppose. The heavies, we can... We'll just keep them... Want to mothball them? Probably. Pay off some of our loans. Denmark has announced Austria as a rival. So you're at peace then. Is that what you're saying? So, looks like Sweden surrendered. After we peaced out. Sorry, Sweden. Fine. Time to rival Denmark, then. And we'll fabricate on Norway, we'll fabricate on Sweden. We can't, we'll fabricate on Denmark. We'll embargo Norway. Or, I'm sorry, embargo Denmark. I don't think I ever remembered to embargo England. Crap. I feel like you should just automatically embargo your rivals. Like, since it doesn't cost anything, like, like shouldn't it just like kind of be like the default thing when you turn it on? When you initiate a, a rivalry? I mean, sometimes you want to cancel it so that you get the Trade Conflict CB, but... I don't know, it's really easy to forget. Okay, so we are at 3 out of 4 relations right now. We've got Scotland, Poland, Castile. We just lost the alliance with Sweden. We could pick up Munster, but Munster's being kind of chickenish, and they're not actually fabricating claims on anything. Which is really annoying. On the other hand, what we could do is we could we could va vassalize Leinster. I know I just spent all this time working on Munster, but if we vassalize Leinster, then we can declare on Munster. They pull us into wars we don't want to be in, though. I think I'm wanting them to help me declare a war so that I can get claims on stuff. But I guess if we have to, we just just go for you. 
We've already been working on you for a year or two. Might as well. So we get, we go Royal Marriage. Yeah, we have enough already. Just straight up jump up to it. We offer the Royal, offer the Alliance. He offers the Royal Marriage. We send him a gift. And we're right there. Another 50 puts us at 190. A small gift, a token of our of our gratitude. Of course, we could do it without the gift. Save the twenty-five ducats, and just do like transfer trade power, proclaim guarantee. What do, what do we get here again? I can't remember. It's um. Yeah, let's just not spend the money. We'll take a couple extra months. Three more heavies on the way. Next war with England's gonna go our way for sure. We should probably fabricate a claim on them as well. We don't need to be improving relations with him anymore, so let's start fabricating on Denmark. Okay, next is going to be our guarantee. Apparently I should have kept ourselves improving relations for one extra month. Oh well, transfer trade power will do it. We're going to continue to ignore everyone that's around us, because aggressive expansion's no fun. Is this going to be enough? We're about to tick down. Let's just send the improved relations. Because we're going to lose Im we're going to lose opinion at the end of this year anyway. So I don't want to risk it. Ottomans have declared a war. Good for them. Flemish separatists are rather upset. This core is taking forever. That or I'm just playing much slower than I'm used to. Do we want to be dealing with rebellion at all? Not really. Well, of course you broke your relationship with Munster. I'm about to vassalize him. I could, uh... I'd appreciate it if you'd fabricate a claim, buddy. Something, something, Augsburg. We should be at war with Tyrone or Leinster right now, but he's being kind of a chicken. You and your damn balanced personality. We don't want him in the war right now. If we turn that off, it turns up it raises their liberty desire, but that's not going to be a problem. And did it? I think I saw that there was a. Uh, I think there was a dock in this province, wasn't there? No, I could have sworn they repaired it like 12.5%, but no, it's, it's too early in the game for, for that. We no longer have fleet basing rights. We don't need them. Well, we could could go for a different mission, but I feel like this bonus stability mission's pretty useful. I'd rather just keep it. Okay, now we have our claim on Norway, but Norway we have a truce with. We have a truce with. Uh, we don't have a truce with Sweden, which is interesting. But we can't fabricate on Sweden. How cool would that be if we could have actually done that? If they had won their war, we could attack them right away. Well, since we have Calais, we could fabricate on this coast. I think we should probably fabricate on England. I want to go as far like away from the Empire as I can, so probably Cornwall. And then from there, we just start working our way up this way. 
But I looked it up, and uh, aggressive expansion, it, the base is, is uh, 2. But if you have a claim, you get less. You get uh, 1.5 aggressive expansion. If you take land from someone who's not a co-belligerent, then you get 50% increased aggressive expansion. So you can have as much as 3 aggressive expansion base per province, which is a ton. So you definitely want to be fabricating claims on everything. And not getting caught. I think we can speed the game up a bit. For now, though, I'm going to take a break, and in the next video, we'll continue going on our big blue blob campaign. It's now been six years, and we have gained four or five provinces. Plus, we got a vassal. So, we've got that going for us, which is nice. So, great. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.